What's up, everybody? We're talking about YouTube demonetizing people's videos for nothing. And, well, the whole 1984 Brave New World, as I call it, amalgamation of uh, a dystopian future waiting for us, not only on the internet, but in our group think herd minded fucking society. Well, apparently, it's. People are being censored for offending people, and it's in the YouTube Terms of Service to not swear, advertise drugs, or f fucking talk about sensitive fucking topics, because they're all a bunch of weak bitches. So, first off, if words hurt you, well, shit's gonna get tough out there, and I'm glad that you don't uh, dictate the survival of the human race, because if it came down to feeding people, your weak ass wouldn't be able to feed nobody. That's, that's it. It's the end of the story. You gotta be stronger than words to be able to grow food for a village. <laughs> so, on top of that, the whole idea that these, I, these rules enforced on groupthink and people's feelings and just censorship not being the government. Real quick, if you think that censorship can only be done by the government... You've read one definition of censorship off of one website, and it's not it's just the newest version of the definition of censorship after they've received petitions to change it, because if you read it before, and I mean, any year before this, they would have said even if people do it. So, it's awfully convenient to know when you've read the definition of censorship based off the changes they've made in the definition of censorship. So, uh, on top of that... Um, the whole idea that you can demonetize somebody's video because they're making an unsavory opinion is terrible. Big Brother is constantly watching us, isn't he? Oh, the haves and the have-nots are going to grow. It's because if you're not part of the group that agrees with the group think, fuck you, you deserve nothing, go over there with the rest of the peasants and rot and die. That is what's going to happen. That's why I call it the Brave New 1984. Because there's going to be a classist system where there's going to be the people that are all part of the group think machine and we're all monitored by these machines. And it's kind of like 1984 in that we're being monitored by a group thinking big brother that's enforcing a morality code on us. But same that, that kind of happens in a Brave New World too. But also there's going to be this extremely bourgeoisie uh a, a opulent upper crust class who enjoys these ridiculous pleasures that nobody's ever seen before and they have they're checked by nobody and they do whatever the fuck they want and they yeah and they, they they go for genetic manipulation I'm not sure if that is what their end goal is I don't think that's anybody's end goal but clearly creating a have and the have not system is the idea and a, a mixture of the two is if especially if you Read both of the books, you will find it very spot on. So, is the internet and the planet becoming Brave No 1984? Well, I've talked about it before many times. Yes, it is. I called it a long time ago. But, there's a solution to this. It's fucking easy. Things change. Platforms fade. As soon as it stops being useful, people stop using it. MySpace sucked ass, so we all left to Facebook. There was things before MySpace, there's going to be things after Twitter, after Facebook, and after YouTube. Depends if YouTube and Facebook and Twitter want to ruin it for themselves. Or not. Have a good one.